What could you decide to show what up? The cat dragged in. This is gonna be a disaster. <laughs> Leave it. I'm a length bending machine. You're doing it too. <laughs> Your back window just fell. <laughs> Fluffer nutter in them. Do it just. What's up, boys? What's up, boys? Roast and rigs. Before we get started, let's do some talking. In one of the previous episodes, I just showed that No Breaks RC made us this little roast and rig design. My boy Carnage RC just got some new printing supplies. Look at what we got scale banners. This is awesome. How cool is this? I should hang this somewhere so we can like see it. I'll figure it out. I'm pretty sure Carnage has plans to somehow put these on his Etsy. Maybe where you can like upload your own art style and he can then make them. I don't know. Keep an eye out for him. Quality is perfect as always. They look sweet. If you want one and you've already sent me a truck, let me know. From now on, they'll be sent back with every truck. <clears throat> on to today's truck. Today's truck was sent to us by Sinister Customs. This is the same guy that just sent us the hot rod in the previous episode. He has a YouTube and an Instagram. I'll put both the links in the description below. The hot rod was a unique weird one. We got another unique weird one. Where do I even begin with this thing? Let's start with the body. This is an SCX24 Bronco body. However, you'll notice the Bronco body is a four door. He chopped it and shortened it. The wheelbase on this thing there's a C10 wheelbase, so it's extra short. It sits extra high, and it has a big motor in it. Let's see what he said about this one. This one's name is Bucky. Okay, Dynamite 6000 KV 2-in-1 motor ESC. Big boy motor which I guess has the ESC inside of it, built in with it. OG big Komodo mount, Mod 5 trans gears, OG RC slash McHugh Mantis links. Mantis links, and then also he has the behind the axle steering situation going on, if you've never seen that before. Let's see what else he said. Amazon controller, we'll look at that in a minute. Grizzly Works LCG front battery tray, spare tire cover, cheap Amazon portals. Go give you guys a closer look. Paint job's really cool looking. Also, he did a very good job at getting rid of the four door and making this a little mini one. Hard top has a bit of a texture to it, like an actual hard top. What else did he say here? I included Bucky's controller, it's a little different, lol, but he runs just fine on a stock 2S battery, if you want to give him a rip. And don't worry about flipping him, it's going to happen. 
the paint's pretty tough. It's PPG based clear paint, like that's on your one 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 slash one. After opening this, I messaged him and I said, "What the heck am I supposed to do with this thing?" It's not really good with crawling, but feel free to give it a try. Don't worry about rolling it. He's pretty he's pretty fun in the mud if you want to do that. Look at the controller. It's like a. <laughs> I didn't know this was I. I did not know this was a thing. It's like a joystick. Oh, this is gonna be weird. I feel like this guy has been setting me up for failure in every way possible. The hot rod was going to potentially catch fire. This thing is extra short, extra tall, extra fast, and driven by a joystick and can't crawl very well. His builds are starting to make a bit more sense to me. He said if we had some cool rocks like that here in Kansas, I'd probably build more actual crawlers. Feel bad for the guy, he has no rocks. Well, I don't really know what to do with this thing. A mountain with the moon behind it, and that's a tree branch. I think it's a skull. I guess it looks like that too. I think they're all the same like skull logo. It's like epoxy. Are those cakes when they do the marble covers? Maybe. If anyone wants to send a cake to you, I'd be accepting of that. <laughs> I see you're still eating your Doritos there. Is that Freddy Krueger? Driving? Yeah. Wait, I didn't even see. Oh wait, he made the shirt stripe, didn't he? Yeah. I give this one an eight. An eight? Yeah. Just kind of average, above average. Your favorite part's definitely eight. Freddy Krueger. I mean, it's not bad. Okay. It's just not my favorite. Okay, 8 out of 10. Yeah. Okay. I can pretty confidently say this is going to be a disaster. The truck is very fast, very tippy, and not meant for wet rocks. We're still going to try it, and I think we'll do a little bit of a challenge. We'll try and get, let's try and get three decent lines. Also, I understand why he named the truck Bucky. You'll see soon enough. Trev on light today. We got the Mountain Sherpa bag. You guys already know we gotta try the drunken frog. Now I do have a pretty good idea of what's gonna happen. I have a feeling it's just gonna immediately flip over. However, in my head I feel like if I just floor it, we have a good chance of just ramping the whole way up it. Also while we're here, lower drunken frog, check out these two little edges I found. One going this way, one going up through here. I've been slowly building stuff over so we can try and start using both of them. All right, get ready to catch this thing. Also, remote, extremely hard to use. I imagine once you get used to it, it's fine, but this is so hard to use. All right. Okay, I think we have a pretty good chance of being able to do this little lower line. And here you can see why he named it Bucky. This is me trying to go slow. Let's try that again. I know what to expect now. Dude, this is so hard to drive.
Uh oh, we might not be able to get up this. I have a feeling it's going to want to tip back. consider that a success. Let's try and go back the opposite way. Let's try it once more. Okay, let's just start right here. See if we can go backwards. I will say not having the steering link in the front is already noticeably better uh, for like clearance, obviously. I don't know what the downsides are of it though. Okay, that was good. Unfortunately, I don't have a ton of spots that are kind of flat. Everything's either up or down. And I think to crawl, this requires flat. Let's see if I can go back up through this. Can we get up this first ledge? Maybe we floor it? Final thoughts, rock crawling ability, 0 out of 10. Ripping around the house, hitting little jumps and having fun ability, 10 out of 10. Uniqueness, 10 out of 10. Ability to frustrate me, 10 out of 10. Once again, I know this was not built for rock crawling, we just had to test it anyways. If I owned this, I would have, I watch a little, I watch a bunch of clips of the guys that take their one-tenth scale bashers to skate parks and do like cool tricks with them. I think if I owned this, I would have a little cardboard skate park in my house. And by that I mean just a couple cardboard ramps taped together. I think that's what I would enjoy out of this truck. He did send me some clips of this thing going mud bogging. And I didn't want to do that and have to clean it off. So we didn't go mud bogging. What do you guys think of this? This is a very unique, strange build. I think the bodywork of making this a two-door is very well done. It looks great. Somebody's passing. Hang on. I love the idea of the short wheelbase. I don't love the idea of the short wheelbase paired with the speed and the height for crawling. At one point he also, I saw he had clips of monster truck wheels and tires on this, like huge ones. I think that would have been a lot of fun. Not for crawling, just for screwing around. Cool. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed. This was frustrating and weird, but still cool. Sinister Customs. Thank you very much for sending this and your hot rod. You have some awesome builds. Thank you guys for watching.
Peace.